Welcome to another learning video on ACCQ Continuing Professional Education. In this video, we're going to talk about exploration and evaluation of mineral resources under Philippine Financial Reporting Standard 6. Pag-usapan natin ang mga objectives or kaalaman. Number one, to define exploration and evaluation of mineral resources. Two, to define exploration and evaluation expenditures. And last, to recognize an exploration and evaluation asset. The term exploration and evaluation of mineral resources is defined as the search for mineral resources after the entity has obtained legal right to explore in a specific area as well as a determination of the technical feasibility and commercial viability of extracting the mineral resources. So, karaniwan dito sa mga mining companies na to, binibigyan sila ng lisensya. Usually mga mining, uh, multinational mining companies, like uh, nagmamina sila sa bundok ng Mindanao. Marami dyan, yung mga gold, even silver, and platinum. No? Now, itong mga byproducts ito ng mga mineral na to, even yung yung sa gas no eh ang isa dito is yung ano yung yung sa microchip na nilalagay sa computer no at marami pang ibang mga uh, gamit dito sa mga mineral na to at mga kasangkapan sa bahay no pwede lang yung kwet ng baso Exploration and evaluation expenditures are expenditures incurred by an entity in connection with the exploration and evaluation of mineral resources before the technical feasibility and commercial viability of extracting a mineral resource. So, sa malalit salita, bago pa mag-undertake yung isang mining company ng, uh, ng full-blown uh, mining operations, nagkakaroon muna sila ng assessment dun sa lugar. Halimbawa, sa bundok ng Mindanao, sa Sampuanga del Norte, tinitignan nila kung ano yung grade nung, uh, nung lupa. No? So, nag sila ng mga, mga geologists para, para sukatin itong mga grado ng lupa no? bago pa yung aktual na operations. Accordingly, exploration and evaluation expenditures do not include the following so hindi itong kasali sa uh, exploration letter A before an entity has obtained the legal right to explore a specific area so bago sila bigyan ng lisensya hindi muna sila hindi ito kasama sa exploration expense and yung pangalawa naman bago pa mag-operate yung full-blown operations sa mining Exploration and evaluation expenditures include letter A, acquisition of rights to explore. So, you can be begin ng uh, licensia para makapag explore. Then, topographical, ge geological, geochemical, and geophysical studies. So, nagpapadala sila ng mga experto para mag explore. And then, ex exploratory drilling. Yeah. So, to get the samples nung ano nung uh, para makita yung grid ng rock and then trenching cost that's also included so, yung mga heavy equipment na to and then yung uh, letter E is sampling of course to uh, determine the grid of the rocks no? mineral and then activities in relation to evaluating the technical feasibility and commercial viability of extracting a mineral resource so syempre tinitignan muna nila kung ano yung viability and then general and administrative costs directly attributable to exploration and evaluation activities. Let's go now to measurement and classification. Exploration and evaluation assets shall be measured initially at cost. After initial recognition, an entity shall apply either the cost model or the revaluation model. So, itong exploration and evaluation asset. Ito, meron itong dalawang uh, classification. It's either they are classified as tangible asset or intangible asset. 
So, pagka ng pagka sinabing tangible asset, ito yung mga vehicles or drilling rigs, yung mga yung mga equipo na ginagamit sa pag-explore. No, they are classified as tangible assets. Meantime, yung mga drilling rights naman will be classified as an intangible asset. Let's talk about the two methods of accounting for exploration. Letter A would be the successful effort method. So the exploration costs directly related to the discovery of commercially producible natural resources capitalized as cost of the resource property. So yung uh, pagka maganda yung kinhatnan ng kanilang uh, exploration, let's say mataas yung grade yung lupa nung uh, naka, ano sila, naka-jackpot sila, maganda yung lupa nung uh, kanilang uh, ine-explore para minahan in the uh, in the future. No, so they consider that as a successful, so kinakapitalize nila yan. Uh, meantime, yung mga dry holes, yung mga, kung baga sa ano, yung mga latak, no? so they consider that as a expense, parang, well, because it's an unsuccessful discovery, hindi naman lahat makaka-jackpot sila ng uh, magandang uh, ng magandang grado o kung saan man lugar yun. Kung minsan yung sa pagmimina, uh, especially ng ginto, hindi lahat nung naan doon ay uh, pure gold. Ika nga. So ito namang isa is yung uh, tinatawag na full cost method. So all of exploration costs, whether successful or unsuccessful, are capitalized as cost of the successful resource discovery. So ang, ang, uh, ang pinaka theorya naman dito is that, well, that's the risk they have to take, no? Merong mga merong na mga maayos at meron ring hindi maayos. Incidentally, both methods are used in practice. Kanya nga lang itong uh, itong mga bigger companies like sa oil companies, they use the successful effort method while the uh, while the, the latter, which is the full cost method, is popular among small oil entities. Incidentally, this uh, some of these uh, resources, of course, is credits to Sifas by Valix, Peralta, and Valix. If you have any suggestions or you want you have any comments just write down your comments of course if you have suggestions for a new topic you may also do so in the comment section of course subscribe and share this video and god bless and keep safe